Melina is a mysterious character that we all welcome with open arms as soon as she gives us the ability to level up our character and gives us the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon Torrent so that we can travel around easier and faster. Maybe she noticed that we were struggling a bit before we found a place to rest so that she could offer us something that we truly could not refuse. She offers herself to play the role of Maiden on our journey to the Elden Ring. Basically, after being told that we have no girlfriend and likely never will by Vare, you are maidenless. We take the offer without any hesitation, go back to Vare, and laugh in his face. Melna will then join us on our quest to the capital city, where she'll give us helpful hints on the lore of Queen Merica in certain churches churches spread around the lands between, and send us to the round table where we can meet other tarnished characters, learn what we need to do to progress, upgrade our weapons and gear, and get lots of hugs even though we damn well know that Fia gives us a debuff to our health. In this world, you just need a hug sometimes. Melina will be with us spiritually on our path until we reach the capital city, where she tells us that she can now move freely on her own and says her goodbyes, which I don't know about you guys, kind of hurt my feelings initially. Finally, you make your way to the door of the Erd Tree, where we battle against Morgoth, and we can summon Melina into the fight to make things easier. But after defeating him, you find that the door is blocked off by impenetrable thorns. Then, Melina has the great idea of burning the entire Erd Tree down, where you might think this may be a little extreme, but screw it as long as I can have my maiden back. She gives you the rolled medallion, where you travel to the grand lift of rolled, to be taken to the mountaintops of the giants, where you defeat the fire giant, and continue to the forge of the giants, where Melina sacrifices herself to burn the Erd Tree down, so that you can become Elden Lord. But you are now, yet again, maidenless. Now let me bring up something I find interesting. You go on this long journey with Melina so that she can be sacrificed to serve as kindling to burn the Erd Tree down. But if given the option to spare her and instead use yourself and the Flame of Frenzy as kindling, she says if you do that, Should you rise as the Lord of Chaos, I will kill you. As sure as night follows day. So okay, the Flame of Frenzy must be bad if Melina doesn't like it. I also got that impression from this guy pretty clearly. Ah, uh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world! And if you go ahead and do it anyway, she won't kill you, but make you feel really bad about yourself and just leaves. Now, if you want to revert this decision, you need to consume Mikola's Needle in the boss room of Dragonlord Placidusax. This item reads, one of the unalloyed gold needles that Mikola crafted to ward away the meddling of the Outer Gods. So what does this tell us? Well, for starters, that the Flame of Frenzy is an Outer God that either is the Three Fingers or took over the Three Fingers before it was hidden away deep below the capital city. And two, Melina doesn't care if you reverse this ending. She does not forgive you for not using her as kindling at the Forge of the Giants. You'd think she'd be pretty happy that she doesn't, you know, have to die, but she still doesn't forgive you. You obviously don't get the ending where she turns into the Glomide Queen, where she'll hunt you down and deliver you destined death. That's only if you become the Lord of Chaos. But even after the reversal, she still never shows herself again to you. Which I think gives us the answer to what is Melina's purpose. It is to serve as kindling to burn down the Erd Tree. That is it. That's all she wants. Because her main goal is to fix the lands between. I have long observed the lands between. This world is in dire need of repair and death. Indiscriminate. Now I've made a couple other videos on some theories about Melina. There's the theory that Melina and Ronnie are the same person, just with two different consciousnesses. There's also the theory that Melina is the Glomide Queen, mostly suggested from the Flame of Frenzy ending and the color change of her eyes. Either one of those theories could be true. We aren't meant to know for sure, just like all of Elden Ring lore. But after researching more on Melina, I still firmly believe that she is the Glomide Queen and is somehow related to Queen Merica, whether being one of her forgotten children or some other weird Elden Ring incest thing that's hard to understand. We know that Queen Merica was chosen by the Greater Will to be the vessel of the Elden Ring. 
But eventually, Merica was driven to the brink, whatever that means, and shattered the Elden Ring, but was half mended and repaired by Radagon. I think this driven to the brink was that Merica was struggling to feed the Erd Tree. The Erd Tree feeds on struggle. So Merica needs us, the tarnished and all the people of the lands between, to struggle so that the Erd Tree can grow stronger. This is why she sends her Lord Consort Godfrey outside the lands between because they ran out of people to battle against. They were sent so that they could continue to struggle, die, and feed the Erd Tree. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord, Lord Godfrey. Now I want you to look at this image of the hand of the Elden Beast, and then I want you to look at Melina's left eye. Looks pretty familiar to me. Like the claw of the Elden Beast is branded to her eye. So what does this mean? Like I said before, Melina's entire purpose is to fix the lands between, to have us, the Tarnished, mend the Elden Ring so that death can be restored to the world, otherwise known as Destined Death. To deliver you what is yours. Destined Death. But if she were to shatter the Elden Ring and remove the Rune of Death, people would just come back to life and continue to struggle over and over again, constantly feeding the Erd Tree. So then we defeat Radagon and are introduced to the Elden Beast. After Melina either speaks to her mother or is just inspired by what she sees inside the Erd Tree, she realizes that the lands between needs death back. And obviously, the Greater Will would want death to be mended back into the Elden Ring as well. This is where the Glomide Queen comes back into play. She was once the protector of the Rune of Death. When the ring was shattered, Merica ordered Malaketh to take the Rune of Death from Melina and seal it away. Malaketh defeated Melina and sealed Destined Death away into the medallion you see on his hand. Melina only returns to the world when Ronnie steals a fragment of the Rune of Death from Malaketh. When Ronnie uses half the this fragment to kill her body and the other half to kill Godwin's soul, otherwise known as the Knight of Black Knives, a fragment of the Glomide Queen, or Melina, is released back into the world. This makes more sense when Melina tells us that she can freely move on her own when you reach the capital city. She's closer to the Elden Ring and the Greater Will, so she starts to become more powerful as she gets closer to it. Essentially, Melina is the Rune of Death, or at least an essence or protector of it. The Greater Will needs the Elden Ring to be mended, and when Melina is released back into the world, she will do anything to have us, the Tarnished, mend the Elden Ring and become the new Elden Lord. That's why as soon as she sees us struggling, she wants to help us on our path. That's why she tests us before sending us to the Round Table Hold. Forgive me. I've been testing you to see whether or not Grace truly does guide you, and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. She's basically been looking for a Tarnish that's strong enough to take this difficult journey to becoming Elden Lord, because she needs us to take her to the Forge of Giants to serve as Kindling, mend the Elden Ring, become Elden Lord, and fix the lands between. Thank you for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. Goodbye. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe as only 6% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. I've had to give my dog Joy over 20,000 tummy rubs for all the support over the past month on the channel. So she and I thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.